Hey guys, I thought I would do something different because this company, New Yes, sent me a scientific calculator and um, they wanted me to take a look at it. They thought it might be good for you guys to just get some exposure, see a different kind of calculator that they make. And uh, it's a little bit different than other calculators. Um, so they're sponsoring this video and they sent me this, but it's just sort of my review whether or not I think it would be useful for you um, as you guys are doing your AP stuff. And um, I hope you, you know, kind of go through it and we'll see, you know, what I like about the calculator, what I don't like about the calculator. And um, yeah, let's, let's just dive right into it. So the first thing I'll probably point out about this calculator is it appears to be at the same size as my TI-36X Pro, which is the standard calculator I typically use when I'm helping students with, um, or when I'm doing, you know, working with students and doing physics. Um, I know like a lot of you guys use the TI-84. Um, that is a, that's a graphing calculator. So this calculator here, this one that I'm reviewing today is not a um, graphing calculator, not a replacement for a graphing calculator. It's actually a uh, scientific calculator so it's more of more buttons no graphing now a couple of things that are kind of interesting it, it is a standard calculator but it has a little uh, spot for this kind of pen that pops out of the side right here and this pen allows you to write on here you could say like hello or you could write an equation I have x squared plus 4x plus 3 and maybe you want to factor that it's pretty cool. So there's a little bit of writing stylus in here, and then you can push this button to clear anything that's written on there. So it's an electronics type writing, but I actually really like the way it feels and the way it writes. Um, I'm used to writing on tablets and screens like that, like uh, teaching, so it, it, it feels nice and smooth. It, it actually works um, pretty well. Um, probably the one thing I don't like about this there's a couple of downsides of this, even though it's a really cool feature. Uh, one, because the thickness is not even, when you push down, like it, like the, the the you can see the calculator lifts up a little bit because it's not flat against the ground. So that's probably one thing that I would say is like a little bit like problematic. Um, let's see. Um, but otherwise, I really like it. The other thing is, is you can't hold this up like like normally like with the with like a TI thirty six, you might hold it up and use both hands like this. Some people do. I actually don't use it like this, but you know you can use it two thumbs like you do with your phone. I can understand why you'd be used to that. This one you can't do that because the the screen, due to this connection, is really connected here. You really can't detach this thing, and so it's really meant to be lying flat on the table as you're entering in numbers. Okay, so that's probably the um, couple of downsides. If it the other thing is is it appears that this thing uses a battery. There, the instructions were talking about a battery, even though like there's these solar panels here. So I don't know what the battery necessarily controls or operates. Maybe it just powers the screen or something, or maybe it kind of uses both, and the battery is just sort of a backup. I'm not entirely sure, but that's another downside. You do have to replace the battery, although that's not usually that big of a deal. Um, but otherwise, I like the size. I like the feel for it. Now, in terms of function, it has all kinds of the standard things that a calculator, scientific calculator has, including the on the TI-36X, it has some integrals and derivatives you can see right here. So you could, like for example, do simple definite integrals, like not um, if you guys are doing calculus, I mean, nothing advanced in the sense that like, like it doesn't have a nice, super nice interface, but I could integrate, let's say X squared, and then from zero to one, right? And just to do a little bit of lesson for you guys, right? The integral of X squared DX from zero to one, you know, I could just teach you guys is one third X cubed, right? From zero to one, which is one third times one cubed minus one third times zero cubed, which is one third. And that's what I got right here, this 0 0.333 kind of business, okay? So um, that, that works out correctly. And it also does derivatives. So you can do derivatives and you could probably do something more complicated than things you could do by hand, but I was just illustrating kind of how that works. Um, otherwise it has kind of the standard functions that you would see in a calculator. I would say one thing that I like that is um, <laughs> something that a lot of people get frustrated with the TI-80, you know, the TI series because it's so old style is, let's say I'm, I, I, I mistype something. Let's say I do nine times 72, but I, I meant to do 90 times 72. Well, you know, on the TI-80, on the TI series, and even the TI-84, if I put in like a zero here, it would overwrite it. But here it just inserts it. The default behavior is to insert. Whereas like on this thing, right? If you're gonna go 
oops, if you're gonna go correct something and you put a zero here, it overwrites that times, right? And so like that's, this is really annoying. Now I'm really used to the TI calculators because I've had them for so long, but it's also really not intuitive. That's not how your phone works. That's not how your computer works. You know, when you're chatting, you wanna insert something, you just go to that spot and enter an in. And so like this calculator, like that's already a huge improvement in terms of interface. Although again, if you're not used to it, even though you should be because phones and computers work this way, it just default insert. Now, if you wanna delete something, um, you can just do that and then that will delete it, the second button there. I kind of wish that delete button was just a standard button instead of that, but that's fine. You, you gotta trade off some, some buttons and things like that here. Other than that, it kind of does everything else that's pretty standard on a calculator, all the standard functions. You have the ability to switch between degrees and radians very easily, and it kind of just shows you there between, I don't know if you can see that very easily, but you know, on the top side of there, between degrees and radians, it will toggle between there, okay? Um, and then um, has some fractions, logs, natural logs. Uh, this looks like log of different base, I guess. It's kind of interesting. So if I do log two, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure what the LG is, but maybe it has like a different base log that you could do. Um, oh, maybe the, maybe the LOG is a log of a different base. So it, it, it's different in the sense that like, it's not the same, you know, if you're really used to the TI system, then like some of these buttons are gonna look a little bit different or function a little, you know, work a little differently. But I really like scientific calculators. I, I think they're, they're they're less bulky than than the TI-84, so I don't really use a T-84 all the time. Um, so I actually really like this calculator. Like I said, if it was a little more level, um, I think I would like writing on it a lot better, and it, and and be more comfortable. And um, I like tactile buttons. I know there's like Desmos apps for phones and stuff like that that you can have, but like honestly, like I I find that those to be kind of Mm, like I, I, I'm just not as fast on them. Like this one, these, once I know where the buttons are, is I can just do, um, you know, just kind of like, you know, do operations really, really quickly, right? It's like a square root of four or something like that. When I'm solving an equation, I'm a lot faster at typing the buttons here than I am say doing it on there. So as long as you get used to it, I think it's a great scientific calculator. Like I said, in terms of um, AP classes, I, I, you know, this is not something you could use for AP statistics or AP calculus as a replacement. AP calculus, you definitely need a graphing calculator, which this is not. Um, but like for physics, this is a very, very good calculator you could use right, for AP Physics. I don't know if it's approved by the College Board, but generally, like, pretty much any calculator is, as long as it's not, like, a little computer. So, um, you know, I think this would be a great calculator for, like, any of the AP Physics ones, where you're just mostly dealing with scientific notation type stuff. Um, but, yeah, like, AP Statistics, which has all those functions, like, those, the tests, the confidence intervals and stuff like that, um, I would not use this calculator for, although it can do a few basic statistical analysis type stuff. Like it can do like linear regressions and it can do um, mean, median mode, uh, mean and median, you know, like the five number tests and stuff like that. But um, yeah, you'd probably want to stick to the T84s for at least AP stats and AP calculus. And this one, um, probably just use it for any sign, you know, like for the, because this is a lot cheaper than the TI-84, right? TI-84 is like a different class of calculator. So this is not the, this is not what it's competing against. It's really just competing against the lower tier kind of scientific calculators like this, the TI-36 or the TI-30 series. Um, but I think it's a great option. If you guys want to check it out, you guys can look in the, um, in the description below, there'll be some links to this calculator and you're happy to check it out and if you like it. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was a pretty neat, neat feature. I like, I think calculators are an area that there could be a lot of improvement on overall compared to the TI series um, calculators, which haven't really changed in a very long time, right? So I actually think there's a lot of opportunity to improve and make better calculators. I've actually said that to several of my students are just like, you know, the TI-84 hasn't changed in like, 40 years at least, right? It's like the same calculator that my parents used all practically, right? So there's, 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 you know, with Desmos and things like that, there's way better calculators that could be made. And I think it's a good step in the right direction. I think it's really cool, um, the kinds of things that they're doing there. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope that was, uh, helpful for you guys. If you guys are interested, like I said, um, just check out, 
The link's in the description below.